Hey, this is Ketchup Sorter from HKG Effects, and today you're going to be learning how to make this really nice abstract effect in Cinema 40. It's like this lines and stuff and text. It's really nice. Okay, in Cinema 40, go on to the top place, click the spline thing, and click freehand. And now draw a random line, like a wave, like anything. Just draw randomly. And now go to that box thing over there and click extrude nerves and now drag this line that you just drew into the extrude nerves and then select the extrude nerves and then adjust the movement thing a little bit I don't know just do anything you want just adjust it and then rotate it just rotate it a little bit that's nice and then to see it just we'll just add some lighting Okay, so it looks really nice, but it's only one line, so we'll make another one. Oh, and I'll show you how to make the better version of this, like uh, the better way. Okay, so just draw a line again, and then this time go into lath nerves, and then drag this line in there, and then you'll see this really nice pottery effect. It looks like this jar, but that's not what we want, so select the lath nerves. And then go to angle and reduce that to around um, 20, yeah, around 20. And then just look at that and adjust the movement a little bit too. Looking nice. It's, it's like better than the other one because it looks way better. I don't know why it just does. Okay, now we'll render that with lights. It's looking nice. Okay, so now we'll make the other one visible and we'll like put it inside the same thing same composition and render that so now what you want to do is head over to the render settings effect ambient occlusion and make the contrast into 15 percent that makes the shadows look really nice it's really good and then now go to global illumination select qmc just, and then just what that does is it erases the need for lighting so it makes it really nice okay so now just zoom out a little render that see look it's really nice the background's white it looks really nice okay so now what you want to do is Add some little lights and then go to shadow, shadow maps, soft. And you can see over there, you can see some really nice shadows going on. It's really nice. Looks like there's a sun above it. Okay. Just wait till that renders. Okay. So now lower the floor a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And then what you want to do is. Hold on. Go to File, Load Material Preset, Broadcast, Resources, and just go to Natural Metals. And my favorite is that brushed metal thing. Okay, now drag that into one of your abstract lines. And then now make a really basic light material. Hold on. Uh, yeah, luminance. Just make that any material, any color you want. Okay, and then now drag that into your other line, and then just adjust the view, okay. And then go add a text and just write your name or your graphics group name, and then just get the, your font, okay. Then get a material, hold on, rotate it to match the style, and then get a material, drag it into the text. Okay. They render it out. So now you can, you can see is looks really nice. It looks just like the example I made. Well, actually, it is the example because example was provided in the future, which is a time paradox. Okay, never mind. Okay. Now what you want to do is get your two lines, command and drag it out to duplicate it. Okay. Select those and then rotate it 
it, now it looks really nice because it's like double. Okay, so select those again, command and let go. Just rotate that again. Then now it looks like you did a lot of work, but it you actually only did two lines. But now it looks like it looks really nice. Just wait for that to render. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and make good use of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. And this was Ketchup Soda from HKGFX. See you later. Okay, now I'm going to add this screenshot at the beginning of this tutorial.